in Oikora and Iwezumi's DMS, Iwachan, yes, Shitikora, we're having lunch together at school tomorrow, right, no, yes we are, you owe me the milk bread don't try to run away now, ugh, fine, why are you such a child, he he, I'm sleeping now, bye Shitikora, good night Iwachan, good night, Toru. At school, during lunch break, I made my way over to the table where Maki and Matson were already sitting. Iwachan was nowhere in sight, so I rushed over to the table. Hey guys, I chirped. Yo, hello, where's Iwachan? I asked, sitting down at the table with them. I don't know I haven't seen him since the morning, Maki said, shrugging. He was with his girlfriend I guess. Oh, I almost always feel like I were. Chan has been distancing himself from me, he doesn't listen to me, he doesn't talk to me as much, and to be fair, we've lost contact ever since he first started dating that girl, it's been 3 months, I think that normally, people would introduce their girlfriend to their best friends, but I haven't met her, he talks about her, and he sounds like he's happy so at first I guess that it was fine, but then I'd see him being depressed over a fight they had. Him apologizing for two consecutive days because she didn't like his joke. Him not being himself because she doesn't accept him for who he is. He'd plan dates and she'd cancel them. He'd invite her over and she'd say she's busy. He'd be expecting a surprise and she'd forget his birthday. I feel so sad seeing him like this and I've tried to tell him that she's clearly not interested in him but he doesn't listen. Earth to Toru. My trail of thoughts was interrupted by Maki snapping his finger in front of me. Huh, what were you thinking? He asked, concerned. Nothing. I replied with a bright smile. Hajime doesn't realize does he? Maki said with a sigh. Realize what? That he's being used. The words left my mouth before I could stop myself. Matson sighed, rubbing his temple. Why don't you tell him Toru? He's been so distant to me. I've told him a thousand times but he doesn't listen. So he doesn't realize either. Maki mumbled something under his breath and I was unable to make out the words, before I could ask him what he said, the bell rang, signaling the end of the lunch time Maki tossed his sandwich wrap into the bin, later, he said, getting up with Matson. later, I replied, waving at him, I was walking in the hallway, making my way over to my next class just then, the janitor's closet's door opened and a girl walked out, her lipstick smudged, panting followed by a guy, while she walked out, she accidentally stepped on my shoe, ouch, I winced, watch where you're going, please, I said pissed, she turned around, brunette hair flowing, it's not my fault that you were daydreaming like a loser while walking, she rolled her eyes and made her way over to the girls washroom, I sighed and continued walking to my next class, after school, I went to the school's front gate and waited for Iwa Chan to show up, it had almost been 15 minutes after which I heard his voice in the distance, followed by a girl's voice, I were Chan. I stopped midway into the sentence when I saw what was in front of me, the same girl from before, who was in the janitor's closet with that guy was walking towards the school's gate, hand in hand with I were Chan, they came and stood in front of me, my breath hitched in my throat and I tried to speak but I were Chan beat me to it, you can walk home by yourself today Toru. I have a date with Chiyo. I looked over to the girl and she was looking at everywhere but me. So she already knew what she was doing. Wait I would chan she's. He cut me off. Oh yes she's Chiyo. My girlfriend. He said with a smile. Chiyo this is Toru. My. My best friend. He said. Stuttering a bit on the words best friend. Hey. She said. A small smirk playing on her lips. Knowing that I won't ever have the confidence to tell I would chan what was going on. Or perhaps she knew that he was too blinded by her to believe or see anyone else. I stood frozen in spot. Say Toru. Tell him what you saw this morning. I will Chan. See you later. He winked. Giving me a high five and wrapping his arm around her waist. Making his way out of the school. If only. If only I could have told him. If only he would believe me.